Hey everybody, welcome to Nuke Nuggets. Uh, we are going to get into tips for 2D tracking. This whole series is basically just uh, little things that I've kind of picked up, kind of working through. Um, I've been really crazy busy with the Netflix stuff, so I'm trying to produce content, uh, even if it's in small measures. Um, so anyway, uh, I have a shot here of Evan. Uh, I have given uh, a band pass uh, to the shot. Probably could have done a better job. And then we're going to do tracking, and we're going to just track his nostril for the sake of this. Uh, a couple things you'll notice as we kind of move through the shot, you can see the nostril change changes shape uh, throughout the shot. And also it's being occluded by his chin. So one of the things you can do if you want to lay down trackers really create is uh, really fast is you can hit this add trackers, and this will just, you can create a trackers really quick if you're trying to do a whole bunch at one time. So that's a nice little trick. But one, the trick I wanted to show you right here really quickly is that if you add a tracker, so in this case, if I go ahead over here and say add track and I put it uh, on the nostril, you can see that the shape is very elongated and we'll go ahead and uh, just go through frame per frame. So I'll say track to, uh, to, to next and we'll just move through it. And now all of a sudden you can see the chin starting to get in the way and we've lost the track in this case. So I'm going to go back a frame and you can, what's really cool is you can hold down control on any four of these ends here and actually adjust what you're tracking and then you can go ahead and track forward. So you can see if I take this I can track forward. Now it's just tracking this area and any one time you can update what it is you're grabbing like with the grab pattern so you can just click that and then just move forward. So any one time as, the, as we start to get the occlusion I can hold down control. You can see I can only go as far as where the cursor's at. Um, same thing here, you know, I can only go that far. I can extend this out as far as I want. And then I can ex extend this, but again, as far as the point. And again, if you want to do an offset track, like you like eventually we might get to the point where his nostril, you know, is, and again I'm holding down control, uh, is is offset a little bit, is I can hold down control, click on the little cursor and offset it over here and then hold down control and pull this out and choose the area we want to track and it'll continue to offset the track here so again I will continue to hit uh, one frame at a time and now we can continue to do this and again you can continue to hold down control and use something else to uh, track by holding down control moving the cursor or holding down control and moving the option here so maybe we'll track uh, the brick not that we would <laughs> kind of dumb because that is a different uh, place in depth obviously but um, again I could just come in here and continue to track forward and you can see because it's different depth and plus it's not very good you're not getting a good solve so that's it I hope that helped you guys and uh, you could use it again if I find little things we'll, we'll make little videos called nuggets